So the second part of our English lesson today is our grammar exercise and actually is leading on from our spelling test because we our spellings next week are looking at pronouns. So the rule that you're learning for the spelling test is using pronouns to replace a noun. So for example, the boy took his book. I've removed the word boy again. So I could have said the boy took the boy's book. But it sounds a bit clunky, doesn't it? So rather than saying that again, I've said the boy took his book. The word his is a pronoun. I'll give you another example. Claire said that Claire was hungry. It just sounds a bit repetitive and a bit boring. So you could say Claire said that she was hungry. She is a pronoun. Um, there's lots and lots of different pronouns. Um, some of them um, that you've probably, well, you've probably heard of all of them. It's I, we, you, he, she. Our, you, their, me. There are some of them that you'd have heard of before, I'm sure. So what you need to do um, for the exercise is you're obviously going to do the activity in your Garfield spelling booklets. That's the first thing. Um, there's three of them. There's one on the first page with the grid. Let's see if I've got a copy here. Um, here we go. Oh, no. That's the test. I need to give you all the answers. Um, so the first one looks like this. That's the first activity that you need to do. And then over the page, there's two more activities to do. No, three more activities to do. Task one, two, and three. So pronouns, one, two, and three. Okay, so that's in your Garfield booklet. And then finally, I've attached a Word document which will test your knowledge and understanding of pronouns. It shouldn't take too long, but you'll need to read the sentences carefully and just decide which pronoun is most suitable to replace the proper noun each time. You can use the, the pronoun more than once. Okay, It's not like um, other exercises, once you've used it, you can't use it again. Okay, so have fun with it because actually it just makes writing a bit more exciting. You probably do it all the time anyway without realising, as we do with a lot of these things that we learn at school. Um, it's just formalising it and knowing that what, what they're called. So they're called pronouns when you use he, she, you, we, we me, I, um, and they replace a noun, a proper noun. Okay.